Let's focus on utilities, in particular water. Joining us now is Ron Fleming, President and CEO of Global Water Resources. Ron, thanks so much for joining the show. Good morning. So tell us more about Global Water Resources, ticker symbol GWRS. Yeah, so we are a water, wastewater, and recycled water utility company based out of Phoenix, Arizona. Um, but more than just being a utility holding company, we are a water resources management company. And that's just based on the way that we integrate those utilities and kind of the smart water management policies that we put into the way that we operate, which is uh, very important here in Arizona. So how do you handle water resources in Arizona that would be different from, say, elsewhere in the country? Yeah, so obviously we're, uh, we're building a, a major metropolitan area here in the desert southwest. So our company is about 20 years old, uh, and I think that's important because not just it's still fairly young from a regulated utility perspective. Uh, if you consider the other 10 publicly traded water companies, um, they average over 100 years uh, old. So we're only 20 years old, so we're really just getting started, and not just because of our age, but because of what we do in the areas that we do it. So the idea behind Global Water was to go to emergent areas around Metro Phoenix, areas that were just starting to grow. And really with that greenfield opportunity, infuse what we call total water management. And so that's a concept that we created, which is really integrating water, wastewater, and recycled water utilities in the same geographic area so that you can maximize the use of recycled water. We also really leverage advanced technology. And when you put these things together, including with like smart uh, rate programs, smart incentive programs, the idea is to really drive down the per capita demand. So you're stretching those scarce, valuable water resource uh, uh, supplies that you have to the fullest extent possible so that you can continue to allow your communities to, to grow. And it benefits them from both uh, an environmental and an economic perspective. So we've had a lot of success with that here in Arizona. We're experiencing a really a uh, investment boom here. Over the last three years, uh, Arizona has seen about $50 billion of economic development investment. And put that in perspective, that's about 500% or five times what we saw in the three years prior to that. So there's lots of growing up, growing uh, going on here in Metro Phoenix and Arizona. But as that happens, you really have to integrate uh, your utility systems and do it in a very thoughtful way so that we are also managing that kind of that scarce water supply to the fullest extent possible. Okay, I was taking a look at some of the stats and the graphics. You serve 74,000 people in 29,000 homes. So I'm curious, how do you, uh, or how does the higher interest rate environment and what's going on in the housing market impact your company? Yeah, it's interesting. We're definitely got a big pullback in our stock price. You know, utilities in general don't perform well when there's high inflation because uh, there's a, a thing called regulatory lag and our ability to actually increase rates to deal with those increased expenses and, and uh, costs of capital. But we're also kind of a trade to treasuries. And so as they go up, we, we, we go down a bit. So there has been a pullback. But from a business perspective, we really haven't seen um, a, a big impact. Uh, we're having the best year that we've ever had. Uh, we're about to announce Q3 here just next week in our earnings release. And our business is really strong. And again, it's based on kind of the original idea to target these emerging communities outside of a, an area like Phoenix, which has historically grown three times the national average, and it continues to. Sure, single family housing has pulled back a little bit, uh, but there's still so many people moving to Phoenix. It's just kind of moving from single family housing to uh, build to rent or multifamily type uh, 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 living uh, projects. And so, you know, we're actually seeing an increased amount of those. So businesses are still moving here, making the investments. Uh, population is still moving here and they need places to live, work and play. 
And so, you know, from a business perspective, we're, we're, we're having one of our best years ever. Just our stock price doesn't reflect that because of the macroeconomic stuff going on. But again, we're just getting started. We're, we're 20, 20 years in here. Um, and these areas are going to continue to grow for the decades and decades to come. And what we do, providing the utility service and managing the water resources that allow that to happen is more important than ever. All right. So as you said, you report third quarter earnings later this week. We just saw some of the estimates from Wall Street flash on the screen. You talked about the, the stock price being under pressure. Does earnings change that when you actually report? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think ultimately it's going to be a good quarter and it's been a good year. Um, you know, we're still fighting those those pressures. But as you were talking uh, to the prior guest about, you're starting to see a little bit of change in that. You know, inflation's under control a bit more. Uh, looks like uh, interest rates may have topped out to a degree. And there's some people that are bullish. And I think as it turns, the areas and the businesses that have continued to perform really well, like we have, and the uh, Metro Phoenix area that we're located, I think they're going to respond fairly uh, quickly. So, you know, I think it's a, it's a good buying opportunity. All right, Ron Fleming, president and CEO of Global Water Resources. Thanks for shedding some light on your company. Really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Have a good day.